Hey everyone, welcome to a Render Spaz video tutorial and today I'm going to show you how to light your car headlights in V-Ray and 3D Studio Max. And what we're going to do is I've already set up the scene so I'm just going to go through it with you and then I'm going to get into more detail as we go forward. Uh, you can see right now I've added a V-Ray sphere in front of the headlight bulb. All right, and that's a very high reflective light or bulb that you're using for the material for, that, for the bulb itself. Uh, and then I just take a sphere and bring it up front. I put the intensity to about 20 in the multiplier uh, and I have two lights for each headlight uh, or two V-Ray sphere lights for each headlight. So now after that you can, uh, if you want, you can change the color a bit to like a blue tinge. Just a bit of a, a tinge of blue there and, um, and that should work uh, or whatever color it is that you like. Um, I also have uh, them both invisible, so you can't see them. All right, but you can see them in the reflection a bit because we're going to need that uh, for our post uh, software there. So what we're going to do, this is just one technique uh, that I use, uh, and this is a good, this is a very effective technique uh, to get your headlights working. So what we're going to do, I'll just move around the scene so you can kind of see exactly what's going on. So we got our V-ray sphere lights. Uh, set up properly here, and they're lighting the uh, the cavity part of the uh, headlight in the with the uh, lenses there. So that's good. So you get a little bit of a luminance there. All right. So we're going to set up our camera a bit here and get some kind of uh, angle that we can work with. All right. Nothing too fancy here. This is just going to show you the process. Okay, so once we got the angle, we can see the lights in both of the, in the view here. And uh, we're going to just hide our lens, okay, our headlight lens for a minute, because we just need to work with the bulb itself here. So what we're going to do is we're going to hit Control A, and that will select uh, everything in our scene, okay? And once we have that selected, we're going to... Uh, right click and then go into V-Ray properties here and we're just going to take our alpha and put it to negative one or close that off. This way it's going to hide everything in the scene. But now what we need to do is we need to come in and we need to select our headlight bulb okay, or the glass lens that's that uh, fits in the bulb here where the bulb is. Alright so we're going to select that guy and then both of them are selected and then we need to just right click again come over to V-Ray Properties and change this back to 1 so this is visible, but everything else is going to be hidden. So this way we're going to get a nice cutout of a mask of these uh, light bulbs, okay, or lenses, the lens that fits over the bulb, okay. Once we do that, we hit Render and uh, render out our final here, okay. So I'll pause the video here and let it render and there we go. So as you can see, we have a nice uh, light there, like it's just bouncing into the uh, lens there, and that's kind of the style we're going for here. And then in the alpha, you can see it's just all we're getting here is the light uh, bulb lens there. And uh, we're going to use that as one layer, okay? So I'm going to save it out as a PNG file, and then uh, and we'll get to our next step here. Okay, so just save it out as that, as a PNG or something with alpha. Okay, you want the alpha definitely to be there for this to work, so. All right, so now we're going to set up our uh, full shot here are complete. So I just control A and then select everything. I unhided the uh, lens from the headlights and now uh, went to V-Ray properties and made sure that they're visible. Everything's back to one again instead of negative one. Okay, so now what we're gonna do is we're gonna deactivate our headlights, okay, or we're gonna make them inactive and we're gonna render this as is without headlights turned on at all. We're just gonna get our final pass. So I'll render this out and pause it. But you can see here now, yes, there's no headlight there, or turned on. Okay, so I uh, paused it, we're back, and we're gonna use this now, and we're, you can see the alpha is all working right. We're gonna save this out as a JPEG, or whatever it is that you wanna save. I'm gonna save JPEG. So here we are in After Effects, and now we have our headlight one and headlight two, which is the bulb itself and then our final. So we're going to use these two images. Uh, as you can see, one's JPEG, one's PNG. Uh, and we're going to use these two images to 
work with them together to get our final effect. All right, so I'll drag uh, the final over and make sure that this is at 32 bit, okay, your color setting there. This will help for your glow. And then we're gonna just grab our, eight, our headlight uh, one image here, our bulb itself. You can see it fits right into place perfectly. And that's exactly what we're looking for now. So we have the headlights on and we also have one version of it just with it off. So we're gonna select this layer and we're gonna come over to our effects, okay, which you'll sh will show up there in the middle. So we're gonna type in glow and drag it over into our headlight one layer. Okay, our bulb layer here. So we can just play with this and you can already see we're getting a headlight glow. So now it's kind of a, just playing with the properties to get a, a look that you like. You can see this is working very well. All right, this is, so this is just one method that uh, I use a lot to get headlights uh, to look fairly decent. Uh, there's, there's multiple ways of doing this, but uh, here's one of the ways I'm just showing you guys. So we can also use a blending mode you want to go to like screen or overlay and like overlay looks really nice so if you want to use a blending mode you can do that and you can see that you get a really nice effect so it's just now just making sure that you don't get too much of a hot spot and you get a nice fall off and the headlights look real you don't want it to be too intense you want it just to be very subtle and that's like very intense right now you just want it to be subtle so you can bring this radius step uh, up a bit and just play these settings a bit, the intensity, the glow intensity, um, and these three values here will really uh, change the way the, uh, the glow is reacting to the, the layer itself. All right, so you guys can see that we pretty much created headlights very quickly. Uh, and if you're gonna use it for the animation, it works very well as well. As you get closer to the other headlights, say the right headlight, uh, that will become more visible in an animation uh, and it looks very nice and natural. Uh, so this is one, one of the ways that I go about it. Uh, and uh, I hope you learned something from this, guys. And that pretty much concludes this tutorial. So head over to renderspaz.com to check out more tutorials, premium and free. And stay tuned for more. And thanks a lot, guys, for your time. We'll see you later.